Today we're going to be talking about resistors. This is especially for radiologic technologists or for students. So just the basics of Ohm's law coming up. So like we've talked about before, you have a basic circuit where you have a battery or a alternating current. But here I'm just showing a battery here, so like a DC current. And we have a video on AC versus DC if you're interested in that. Usually the current will draw is going in one direction. And then there's a potential across this battery, so a voltage, which is why the electrons want to move in the opposite direction that we draw the current. And then we have a resistor here. So how are these three things related? The voltage across the battery, the current that runs through the circuit, and then the resistor here. And this is what's called Ohm's law. And it's pretty simple. It's just V equals IR. And then we can obviously solve that. In physics, we always said the engineers have like three Ohm's laws. So you can have I equals V over R. And you could also solve for the resistance R. R equals V over I. But anyway, this is just the basics. When you're looking for the voltage and the current and you know what kind of resistor you have in there. And then we want to cover quickly the difference between resistors that are in series or resistors that are in parallel. So first we'll draw the series resistors. So they're called in series right now because you have a voltage here and then the current's going to be traveling through the circuit and it's going to go through the first one, the second one, the third one in series or in that order. There's no other choice that the electrons have. They're all going to be going through those same resistors. So if you want to have what we call an equivalent or effective resistance to what we have in these three resistors here. When you're adding resistors in series, you can think of having the same circuit, but you have one resistor instead. So that's R effective. And for the case of series, R effective is just equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. And basically the current that's going through the circuit can't disappear. You always have the same amount of current. That's called Kirchhoff's rule. And that tells us that the equivalent resistor to add up these three, if they're going in series, is just going to be R1 plus R2 plus R3. So that's if they're going in series. And if they're going in parallel. So the same kind of thing here, now they're in parallel. So the idea is we want to describe an effective resistor that's going to describe this scenario where we have R1, R2, and R3 in parallel. So now when the electrons get here, they get to choose which, which route they want to go down. And there's going to be essentially a lower total resistance because they're going to be able to choose kind of what we call the path of least resistance, right? You hear that phrase in uh, general colloquial terms as well. But if we solve those equations and figure out what this uh, effective resistance is, it's actually 1 divided by the effective resistance total is just equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. 
So that's what we have if we have resistors in parallel. The way today is just V equals IR, that's called Ohm's Law, and then resistors in series, you just add them straight up, and resistors in parallel, you just add the inverse of them to get the inverse of the total resistance. Check out our other videos on electricity and magnetism and on DC versus AC current for radiologic technologists.